Hello everyone, this is my channel Tally Learning World. In today's video, we will discuss about how to maintain payroll with statutory for an employee. In the previous video, we discussed about how to create an employee, how to define a salary and how to create a attendance production types. So in this video, we will discuss about how do we enable for payroll statutory and for an employee. From the gateway of tally or from any screen, we can just press F11. We have a feature called enable payroll statutory. Let's enable. As you can see, there is a payroll statutory details been asked. So you have to fill the company's details over here and ensure the provident fund details has been filled, employee state insurance details has been filled and income tax details for a company can be filled from here. So we have here the option standard working days for a month. If you want to deduct an ESI for an employee, so you have to mention for what is your company is giving the standard date. If you won't mention the dates like how many days you are allowing your company for an employee to work so ESI won't be going to calculate let me provide an example of 26 days I'll just press Control A again Control A so to create and pay heads from the gateway of tally I'll go to create pay heads so I wanted to create a pay heads for ESI for employee so as of now the current percentage for an employee is 0.75 if it's getting changed in future you can just change it as per the percentage based on the budget so here we have option pay head type under pay head type as you can see there is an option employee statutory deduction so we have to select the pay head type under employee statutory deduction that is employee statutory pay head type that is employees state insurance so it will fall under current liabilities affect net salary yes i want to calculate the salary for esi on specified formula so i will be going to deduct esi on my basic pay to add pay heads, we will select here add pay head GA and add pay head. I'll select on HRA as well. So here, if you want to give the, any exemption limit, you can give the exemption limit over here. So or else you can just give the directly percentage as 0.75. So I'll just press Control A. Now to create an employer's ESI contribution, ESI for employer, I'll just give the percentage 3.25 as per the current. So let me select, as you can see the pay head type, it's employer statutory contribution. So for employers, it's employee state insurance. So it will be an indirect expenses for an employee. No need to enable the option effect net salary. We'll just select on specified formula on basic pay, add pay head for DA, again add pay head for HRA. So the percentage for ESI is 3.25 percentage. So we'll just press control A. So to create an PF pay heads, the same way we'll create a PF for an employee. It's a 12% for an employee, it's 12%. So it will be as employee statutory deduction and it falls under PF account number 
one that is statutory pay type. It also comes under current liabilities. FET net salary is so here we will select on specified formula. PF will get deducted based on the basic pay and DA. So in some companies if they wanted to add additional pay heads, you can add more pay heads and any percentage you wanted to specify, you can specify over here and just press Ctrl A. So we have PF for employer. That is at 3.67 percentage. So it comes under employer statutory contribution. So here we will select PF account number 1 and under indirect expenses. So no need to enable the option effect net salary. We will select on specified formula that is on basic pay at D. So I'll just provide the percentage of an employees that is 3.67. If you want the same way for P of contribution pension, you can create it by same way by percentage of 8.33. Now as I have created this pay heads, so let me record a transaction by using this pay heads for an employee. So to create an employee, you can go to Gateway of Tally, Create, Employee, let's give the name called Suresh, at date of joining it's from 1st May 2021. We have option called Defined Salary. So I'll select the Defined Salary for basic pay, it's 8000 and DA, it's 2000 and HRA it's 3000 so we'll select ESI for an employee as well as PF for an employee so let's just press Ctrl A and fill these details of an employee to provide any additional details like for an employee we have contract details passport data, visa details or any other information you can just enable from F12 configuration if you want to provide passport details and contract details. So we'll just press Ctrl A and to record a transaction we'll go to voucher F10 for other voucher we'll select as an attendance so let's select the employee name as Suresh and we'll record a transaction for an employee Suresh. He was present for 27 days and he have took a week off for 4 days. So I'll click on end of list and accept. To record a payroll voucher, we'll just press Ctrl F4 or you can just press F10 and select payroll voucher. To fill this autofill, we'll just press Ctrl F, payroll statutory. For employee, we are defining the salary for process. For the month of May, only for employee Suresh and we'll select the bank ledger. As you can see, the salary processing has been done. So here we can see the ESI and PF is getting calculated only for employee. To record a transaction for an employer, you have to press Ctrl F, again autofill ESI for an employee name for Suresh from bank. So as you can see ESM, ESI for employer also has been processed. The same way to process for payroll autofill for PF contribution from an employer, you can select the name of the employee as Suresh and bank ledger. So the way we have been processed for employee, the same way we have to process it's for employer as well. 
so we have to check the report we have option display payroll reports from there we have option called statutory payroll reports from there you can just go to provident fund or if you want employee state insurance it's been displayed or else you just wanted to view summary we have given the summary of an pf and esi so if you want to add any other payheads the same way we have to create and i request if you have any kind of requirement of any additional deduction you can just create the deductions payheads as well in tally prime so in this video i will show you the way we will be processing the salary for multiple employees at one shot and how do we pass attendance of all employees at one shot so to record a voucher we'll go to gateway of tally voucher we have option to change the date by pressing f2 i'll change the date for the month of example 30th june i wanted to process a attendance to a process attendance i'll just press f4 i'll select f10 and i'll select the option called attendance so we will just press control f for autofill for attendance for all employees or group of employees so you can select here present for 26 days i'll just press employee name as you can see for both the employees the attendance has been for present it's been recorded the voucher to record additional like week off or absent or casual leave again you need to press control f4 autofill and select all employees and select week off for 4 days as you can see the voucher has been recorded successfully to record the payroll voucher we'll just press control f4 for payroll voucher and to fill this voucher we'll just press control f payroll autofill for all employee to process salary we'll select here for the month of june and you can select all items and employee name and here you can select the bank and just press control e so as you can see the processing of the salary for multiple employees in single voucher it's been done for more we thank you for watching the videos kindly like comment and share my videos for more videos subscribe to my channel tally learning world and press the bell icon for more updates and new videos